Hello, Miss Shallow Crafty Servings. We're going to decorate Birdhouse tonight. So come on, say hi. Let me know you're out there. We're going to use the Tim Holtz paper, collage paper. Putting a link there. We're decorating up this birdhouse. Um, the transformation is going to be crazy, I think. I hope you like it. It'll be pretty. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This birdhouse, the, this size, is um, Hobby Lobby. You get them 50% off every two or three weeks. I know you can get some maybe a little bit smaller than this at Dollar Tree. So they're probably not quite as heavy as this, but they're definitely um, would work. Okay. So I'm just trying to get off the label. I miss what the link is for the collage. I put a link out there and we are using um, Tim Holtz collage paper. So I've used it before. Um, I think I first used it probably a year ago on some crosses that I did the crackling paint on. And we're gonna use it tonight on this birdhouse. I'm just using a baby wipe to get the rest of that glue off or some of it. Because we're gonna paint the bottom of it too. So I want that off. We're just, we're just going to have some fun. This is sort of like a mixed media kind of thing. We're going to be adding different things to make it look really, really cute. So it's going to look sort of old. It's going to look sort of garden. I mean, to me, it sort of would be a farmhouse kind of, or I don't know if you would describe it as shabby chic or what. But so we're starting with the birdhouse. We're also got these, I've taken four of these beads. Um, you get them at Hobby Lobby. They're in a package. I can't tell you the size of them, but if you look, they're sort of hexagonal all over the shapes. We're going to use four of them, too. So we got them out. They come in a package, probably, I don't know, maybe a dozen of them, I would think. So match them up to the size of your birdhouse. Let me tell you what it's going to be. So they're going to be like this. So match them up to the size. All right, you might need smaller. You could just reuse regular beads. You don't need these hexagon if you don't want. Hello, Amy. So, um, and we're using the clash paper. And again, that's what the link is for. And it's, um, I will make sure that I point that out when I bring out the clash paper. So first color I'm using is Anita. It's actually, um, I was gonna say, I have several Anitas tonight. This is the dark, or bark bark brown any brown will do um, whatever you have um, actually I'm not even probably gonna do as much on here I'm gonna just start we're gonna paint the whole birdhouse brown you just use a big old paintbrush you don't have to get fancy with it it's okay if a little bit shows through That any brown will do in if you want to do different colors you can do different colors if you don't want to do brown as an under um, use whatever colors you want so I'm just gonna start up on a side here now and you want to get everywhere so I started at the bottom you want to get the sides you want to get on top of here it's got a cute little ledge this one it'll be cute or I think it'll be cute anyhow and it's okay if you get paint around on things if some of it comes off that's fine and I'm just squirting it on it's a lot easier and I'm squirting it on me a lot easier just to squirt it right on here than to try and take it off of here you're just getting a good amount on you don't need you don't need to be perfect though It's gonna be sloppy tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be sloppy. I'll be full of paint. It's all right. Crafting is about sloppy, right? 
I'm going to do up underneath this edge here too. Always make everything pretty and homey looking. Aw, Kendra, thank you. That's, I like the homey kind of country. I like the kind of rustic. You know, this you could change up though too, paint it bright. I always say you can change things up to match what you like. So I'm just giving you ideas. It doesn't have to be as rustic as what this is gonna look or as rustic or farmhouse. It's, um, it doesn't have to be that. You can change the colors of your paint. You can change the decorations that I'm putting on, but I like what I'm putting on. Can you keep, oh, I miss, love you. Hello, Natalie. The brown, this is called Bark Brown. It's Anita's brand, but you honestly can use any brown. You can use really any color if you want to change it and not be completely, I mean, we're putting over other colors over it, but say you want a brighter birdhouse, maybe use a, a teal or something like that. You, I'm using brown, but you'll see my reasoning. But you could use a teal or something on that order. We just wanna get that brown everywhere. You don't want any, anything left uncovered, but it can be sloppy. And if a little bit sticks through, it's okay. Okay, I'm just getting inside of this hole. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna just get up on these edges. This project will be a little bit longer, um, just because we're gotta dry the layers in between. And it won't take much to dry, but we just gotta dry them a little bit. Okay, and just keep flipping it around and see what you missed. So some of it I'm just putting in the brush just to try and get onto this edge. Have paper or something under you, just something near, because you are gonna get painted wrong. Unless you're really, really careful, um, a lot more careful than me, you're gonna get paint. So just make sure you have something under it. I always, somebody asked me the last time, and I guess I never really thought about it. They asked what I use um, under, my things as I'm making. I use, well, I've got newspaper here now, but I get cheap tablecloths and they're usually the large vinyl kind and I can cut them in half and use them until they're no good anymore. <laughs> till they're just so full. And you know, they're cheap. You buy them on clearance. Like I have a couple Easter ones now. Buy them on clearance. So that's what I use. Hello, Julie. Hi, Jane. Just getting everywhere. Wait till y'all see the difference. It's 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 crazy what we're doing tonight. It's I think it's gonna be really really pretty. All right, I think I've got everywhere. I just don't want any clumpy parts, so it doesn't take so long to dry. <laughs> Tablecloths. Yeah, and from the Crafter's Corner in um, the Dollar Tree, too. Yes, definitely. I have one in there, too. I'm always grabbing some just because I we go through them pretty quick. And three different bird houses that need ideas for. Here we got one. All right. No, I can move it over here. Yes, too. You want to make sure it's good and dry when we put this next layer on. 
Now another thing that would be really cute on here would be crackle paint, but I can make it look pretty old without crackling it. So that's what I'm gonna show you. I think I'm, I think I'm dry. warm in here. We have our wood stove going because we have no furnace for the last month. We're getting a new one, but so whenever we can, we'll start the wood stove. Um, and you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to paint up these little wood blocks. So I'll just put a little paint on here now. One side you don't need to paint because you're going to be gluing it on. So I just hold both sides again you're gonna get sloppy paint unless you want to put it on a dowel or something and then I put it down and then do the top sure that's set All right, last one. Just get all sides, except, like I said, you don't have to do one side because that will be the side will stick to the house. There we go. And yes, you're gonna get very, very... All right, so we're gonna go back to this one now. My bag on the wrong side. All right, so we're gonna let them there dry. We're done with that. that now I'm gonna use the Anita's um, Antique White. So there's also, I mean, again, it, this is just sort of an off-white. And I'm starting to run low on it put a bunch on and now I'm going to use one of the chip brushes again you get these at a hardware store they're not a perfect you do this a lot a lot of people use them for like their napkinizing and we're just gonna okay so we're gonna dab it in there and just dab a little bit off and just just brush And you're not, you're gonna see, and get some on the edges. And that's why you want it dry, otherwise it's gonna blend that brown in and you'll have like a creamy color brown. So that's why you want it dry. And do that all the way around again. No rhyme or reason. I, I do like going in the same direction though. All right, I missed something, something somebody said. Get up on these edges. Let's see, isn't that cute? on the bottom too and that chip brush just makes it look old already it doesn't give you the best of coverage and I think I got everywhere except for the top now so we want these edges to Get the bottom edges. Again, you're gonna get messy. Just it wipes off. Good, Brenda. And it's already looking old. It's a big difference from when we started already. All right, now we're just going to 
bunch on the rough. Need a little more. And again, this is the Anita's brand, the antique white. Use any kind of creamy color. If you're doing if if you're doing this kind of color, okay. If you're doing like the brown and the old, um, then a cream off white, something on that order. But this would be gorgeous if you don't want the rustic. This would be gorgeous. Do this like in a teal. Um, and if you put this white over it, over like a teal, it wouldn't look as rustic and old because it would be closer to the color. It's just the brown. I think the brown under it makes it look like that. Okay, so just make sure you've got... All right, so that's what we got. That's all we need of, no, I lied. I almost did it again. We have to do these two. I'm just getting more actually on those corners is what it ends up. A little on the top. The, these chip brushes make it so easy. So, all right, so now I'm done with the cream color. And if you don't like it on your fingers, use gloves or something, but it wipes off. I have a baby wipe here that we just clean it up with. Now we're gonna add just a couple little colors to that. We're gonna dry it up in just a couple little colors, then we're gonna start decorating on it. Yeah, Lene, the paper is the best. I used it probably the first time a year ago, and I've seen other people have been using it, and so I know I've seen other people use them on other things now, too, so it's, it's cute. I have not learned that lesson. Okay, we're dry. Okay, just, just pretty dry. Okay, so we've got two more colors here. And we don't need much of it at all. And now I'm using scruffy brushes. So they're just called a scruffy brush. Um, you can get them at Walmart or whatever or craft store. And I'm using two colors, aloe. This is the deco art, it's called aloe. Any kind of green, sagey green, something like that. If you're using this Tim Holtz paper and the colors that I'm doing. The other color I'm using is an Anita's Rose Mauve. Um, any kind of little bit of a pink. Or I have a um, vintage pink would look gorgeous on it. And you won't even see much. Honestly, you don't see much. We're just going to put a little bit on. Okay, so, and I've got two of these here because we're going to use the two different colors. So I'm just going to start with the pink. And now we got to use some paper towel. We're going to wipe a lot of it off. Okay, somebody asked about where the birdhouse, maybe? Yes, the birdhouse. It was a plain, plain wood birdhouse. This was Hobby Lobby, $8.99, and you get 50% off every few weeks. Um, you can get birdhouses, though, at Dollar Tree, too. They're a thinner, lighter weight, um, probably a little smaller, but you can definitely do them and do the same thing. All right, so I'm just wiping a lot of that pink off that I'm already starting with. And I'm just going to brush some of it on. And if you can see, yeah, you can see that on there. So it's just going to add a little bit of color. You're not going to see a lot of it. Get a little bit up on these edges. And we're going to do that all the way around. And I'm doing it up and down now. It doesn't really matter. Just want to be able to get a little bit on. And I'm using pink because it's going to look good with the paper. But you really, if you don't want pink, you don't have to use pink. Just adding a little extra color. Okay, and get it on some of the edges. On here you see you can see it's nothing perfect and 
and you're wiping a lot of it off so you don't get the big dark clumps on it. Okay. Okay, so we've got that pink in different places. And I'm not gonna do it on here. I don't think you'll really see it. All right, now I'm gonna do the sage green, the same thing. And just add the green in different places. Can you see that too? All right. Can you see the green in there too? It just makes a little bit older. And then I think we're ready to start putting the rest on. I think we're done painting. Okay, so it looks pretty old now, right? And that, that was pretty easy. It was the um, just the colors paint. So we started with the brown. If you're on late, we started, this was bark brown, um, an antique white, and then we used the rose mauve and uh, aloe green. Any of these colors will work. They don't have to be this brand or, or the names. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Okay, so next we're going to start putting on. Now, you see the link there? That's collage paper. Uh, it's an affiliate link to Amazon. You can get this paper there. Um, this is the Aviary by Tim Holtz. There's, this is a two-pack that you would get on here. It's Aviary, and then there's another really pretty flowered one. I have that also, but we're using the bird one today. And you'll see, it's like a tissue paper. And you'll see... How cute is that right so there's different things now this front one I, I already know I want this on the front because I think those birds will match up but I, I need a whole piece so I'm I'm going to cut that part off and we're just gonna take pieces of it and put it in places and then we're gonna do some more decorating yet yeah, besides that what are you going to glossive it Glossivit. Glossivit? What, what is Glossivit? I'm sorry. All right, so this piece I'm cutting off. I'll save that. Okay, look at this this part, this birdie darling. I love that. We're going to cut that. We're going to put that on the side. And if you want to tear, you can, but I'm afraid that my tearing wouldn't be good and I would mess up some of this that I want. But you can make a little bit jagged edges. And another reason why I like using this white is because this will blend right in. See, as you put it on there, it'll blend in. Okay, so that's a piece I want. I would like um, these two birds here. I think they'll be cute. And you just pick up pieces that you like out of it. There's a lot of these words on here would be really cute. Um, and you can put as much or as little. Last year when I did this, again, I did it on a cross, like on crackle paint, and that worked awesome. I've done it on pots, um, and that I've, I did that on a live also. Okay, so we're going to have this piece. I think we can use this little cute little bird. You can outline the tissue with watercolor pens and tears, yes. With, does that work as good with this tissue? What she's saying, and I've heard that also like with paintbrush, if you get water on it and outline where you want it to tear and tear it, it works. I know you can do that on napkins. Um, I didn't know how well it would work on here, but it, it, it more than likely does. All right, so this little bird is cute. We'll use him, and then like I said, I like this. And I want to line this up so that it's going to go, that I'm going to have a bird on the side of the hole and a bird above here. So this isn't going to go all the way to the top, but I want some of that nest. So we're just going to cut this big piece off here. And I think we'll have enough then. Remember the cross. Oh, thank you. I did love it, love it too. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I wanna try and figure out where I want this and I'm gonna even crease it down in here just so 
I know because now the birds are on the outside of the hole because I'm going to be poking that hole in and I want to make sure that we see the birds. So we'll line it up. We've got the bird up there. So this is the way I want it. So I've got the creases so I can sort of figure it out. Now you can use Mod Podge for this. Definitely you can use Mod Podge. I've been hooked on using this Liquitex Matte Gel Medium. I like the matte. Um, it when it dries, you don't see it at all. And I think that's why I like it so much. So that's what I'm using to put this on. And you can see it's just, it's a thicker, it's like a thicker gel. I like using this other, I'm just gonna use the skinny little one. And all I do, I just use the back of this and, and just spread it on. And it doesn't have to be thick. And I also want it on the inside edges here. You probably could use a foam brush too. I maybe feel like an artist doing this. I don't know. It just, you can scrape it really well. So, and I'm just trying to get it all over on this front edge. Lay this back on here. Again, I want those birds offset, and I sort of had it laid in there, so we'll just lay it back down. Crease that in, and we'll end up taking that off. I am not an artist. I feel like one when I use that. Okay, so I'm press it down. You might get a little wrinkle in it, that's okay. This is a little more forgiving than tissue paper though, than, or than um, napkins. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a layer of this over the top also. And again, the reason why I like this is it really, it really does dry so that you don't see it. Even if you have little thicker parts of it, you don't see it. Um, one thing I want to do is my scissor and we're going to poke that into and we're just going to bend that down in there. And just finish getting this around. Make sure that's down in the middle there. And then I like, and then I just scrape off a bunch. That's on there and I'm gonna let the rest of this a little bit set up and we'll end up cutting off some of it and sanding a little bit off okay so we'll just let that and we'll just work around so let's do this birdie darling on here itchy where, where do you get the gel you can get the gel you can probably get it online at um, Amazon or something but I get it at Hobby Lobby and this is um, this does go on sale there also I would recommend getting it on sale because otherwise it's a little more expensive and when it's on sale then I think it's 50% off so you get a really good price um, and you can even buy a bigger container than this um, but it's a little more pricey but I just I really really like using it um, I said when this dries you do not see it at all where you do see Mod Podge you I mean you do see it so I like where you don't see it. Okay, so we just put that on. Make sure it's everywhere. Lay that on. Let's put more on top. If you're interested in getting these, 
you can, I've seen these in, even at the Dollar Tree. They have a kit of them, like five of them in a kit of different sizes. I'm only sure I saw them at the Dollar Tree too, but I think I got mine at Hobby Lobby, right near where this is, in the artist supplies. What is this stuff? This is called matte gel medium. You could use, honestly, you can use um, Mod, Podge, Mod Podge if you wanted. Like I said, I like this just because you don't see the extra, you don't see it when you put it on top and it dries. So you do not see it at all. All right, so let's just put on another bird. Let's see, I sort of like, let's put a little bird down over here. And you could wrap it around if you want. I'm sorry, if I'm going off camera, I'm sorry. Hold it, hold it up longer so I can screenshot this gel medium. Okay. Now, if you go to Amazon to get this collage paper, it's Tim Holtz. I have a link there. You could probably get this on there too. Like I said, I know this goes on sale at Hobby Lobby ever, probably every few weeks too, I would guess. Um, it, it goes on sale. It, like I said, it's not for everybody. If you know, It is a little more expensive, but I just love the texture. I love how it looks. I'm gonna put a little bit on this side just because this side might wrap around a little. On. And even if I notice if you have it a little thicker in a place and it dries, you still don't see it. So this is the same that I used. If you saw me, I was on um, a crafting event for Easter and I did Easter rabbits with paper. Um, I had to do 10, I think. And I, d I used this for that also. And that's where I started using it. Okay, so this, okay, that's sort of the same as the front. We're gonna use this, this these birds and we'll put them on the back and I think um, I'll probably put one more bird on the other side here and that's all we're gonna need for for these and then we're gonna finish decorating with other things. So this is a bigger area again, just put a bunch on. Now, be careful if you lay it down because if it sticks a little bit, some of it will pull off on your paper. So you wanna make sure, if you're gonna lay it down, make sure it's dry. Okay, just lay that on there. A little more on top of there. Just make sure the edges are down just scrape the excess off. Be careful so you're not really digging into it so that it doesn't tear it. But it's pretty, pretty solid. Okay, so that's that side. We're just gonna put one more bird over here, I think. We'll use one of these. Actually, I've got this little bird here. Um, I've got the nest on the front. We're gonna we'll use this little bird, I think. You don't need to cover the whole thing if you don't want to um, with collage paper, because you can use other things in between. Okay, let's just put him. I 
think I'm done. We're done with that. Okay, like on the board on the side. Thank you. And I'm sorry I'm I wasn't able to watch comments while I'm doing that. I just really want to get it on. And now uh, while I'm drying this, I can do some more comments, okay? Because we don't want to be here all night, and I know this will this takes a little bit. So like I said this this will probably was the most. The rest of the decorating is gonna be pretty easy on here. So let's just we're gonna dry this up. So if you didn't get this again, if you want a screenshot, this is the, it's Liquitex Matte Gel Medium. There's probably some other gel mediums out there, different brands, um, but this one works just fine. And then the collage paper is what I've got linked there. Um, you can, I know you can get that on Amazon. You used to be able to get it at Hobby Lobby, but I don't think they have it anymore. They might have it at other craft stores. Um, I'm going to dry this up a little bit and then I'm going to sand off the edges here. All right, can this go outside? It probably could go outside as long as you put a really good clear acrylic sealer over it, like multiple layers. All right. What I'm putting on it, I don't know that I'd want to put it outside. It would be really cute like in a porch or something like that, but I don't think what all I'm putting on here you could have outside. But you definitely, if you just did this and really put a clear acrylic sealer, you know, probably several layers of it, you probably could get away with that. All right, so I'm just going to, I've got sort of gloppy here. I'm not gonna be using it, but. We want to sand off these edges. Just, just as easy with a little file here. Okay. And then I also want to try and get this edge off. I also have an X-Acto knife here. If I have to, I'll use that. Got mine at Joanne's. Okay, and somebody got it at Joanne's. Okay, perfect. Now I've got a little bit of that bird is sticking up. There we go. Again, I'm just going to try and cut it with my emery board. It was already drying up there, which is fine. Part, same thing. There we go. And that just gets those edges off. Let me just lay them down. gonna finish drying this up and then we're gonna finish decorating it okay you can see all the different sides now oh, did I not have a bird I don't have anything on this side I need something on each side thank you Roxanne I appreciate it so I just got to put a little more on this side on here you just want a little on each side you don't like I say you don't 
have to if you don't want to, but I really want the look of that. Okay. Now we're done. Thanks, Christina. We did. Now we're going to be decorating other stuff. Just to, we're adding extra things on that are going to make it look really cute. It's not going to look like that original wood house. Like I said, I love this collage paper. It just, I, I love it. It looks so cute. It's a, and when this dries, you don't. You just see all that color shining through. It's real colorful. You don't necessarily have to use a dryer, but if I want to decorate on it tonight, we need to. Thank you, Kendra. Thanks, Callie. I'm just going to try and get as much dry here, and then we're going to be a little damp while we're decorating. Hello, Janice. I love the piece on the front, too. That's my favorite. So it just fits there. It just fits there. And you can see, as it's drying, it, you don't even have a shine to it. That's why I like that product. I, I just like it because of that. So, like I said, it, it takes a little bit to dry. I did warn you all that this is going to be a longer project tonight. But once this is dry, the decorating will, of the rest of it won't take too long. But it's going to add something to it, trust me. I hope you stick on. Do you, Christy? I know I had it. Like I said, I used it last year, like probably about a year ago, on crackle painted cross and that was my favorite and then I did it on a clay pot also just loved it yeah Amazon also has three packs of so three different kinds so the link I have there is a two pack because I figured it's cheaper doing the two um, one is floral and one is this aviary okay I think I can get away now with with decorating the rest of this off. Mm -hmm. I have the black and white papers too, yeah. Hi Betty. So you put in the texture in small areas where you put the design, yes. Let me show you the other, so I can show you the difference. This, this is what I had done at Easter time and you do not see at all. And it was completely covering everything it covered everything and you don't see any shine you don't see anything so that's why i like this product so that all will dry everything will dry and you won't see it at all so okay so let's start decorating uh, we are going to put these we're going to put the paper aside because i saved those so i can use them again these are going to be on the bottom and then i've got the one side that i didn't paint we're going to put them on the bottom and then because these are hexagon i'm going to make sure that i'm going to have them lined up at the corner and so that there's a flat side on the corners like that we just get our hot glue and line it up It's gonna be like a little pedestal that it's sitting on then, or just the little little legs. Yeah, I like that it has no shine too. I just, I really, really like that. Mod Podge adds a texture to it that you see, which, but it's cheaper and I get it. Um, so if you wanna use Mod Podge, totally understand and it will completely work for it. Okay, so there's two of them. This one. So one of these sides I didn't paint, that's why I was just sort of turning it around. Um, 
Again, I'm making sure that I have a flat side here and a flat side here so that it's going to look the same all the way around. Okay, there's the start. And that just that just adds something to it. That's cute, right? All right. So next, um, okay. I do want to make sure this is sort of dry. Okay. Next, I'm going to add a little, just a little more coloring in places, and that's another reason why I wanted it really pretty dry rubber stamps I've used them before this is one now this is one you you might be able to get something similar to this somewhere I used to do close to my heart scrapbooking and uh, rubber stamps and everything like that I'm almost debating on adding that back into what I do um, but so this is an old one I had and it's like balloon string almost it looks like and I'm gonna use some of that distressed ink it's probably Tim Holtz too right and this is the black that I'm using. And all I'm gonna do is rub it on. And let's see if you can see this. So I'm just going to, and it doesn't have to be, it could be any one. It just adds a little something extra to what you're doing. It just adds a little more dimension. So like I said, there's all different kinds of rubber stamps. You can look in different places and you can, I mean, there's so many cute kinds out there, but like I said, this one is close to my heart and, but it, I don't know that it, this was years ago that I did this. Just adds that little bit of extra texture to it. Thanks, D. Add a little in here. No rhyme or reason where you're doing it. I don't know that I need it on the front. The front is so busy, I don't think you'll see it anyhow. Thanks for all the hearts. I'll just add a little more here. And you can do it right on top of the paper, like that one's right on the paper. This one will be on the paper. There. That just adds extra cuteness. You can see that on there. And then all I do is just, again, I, I use baby wipes a lot clean that off just so it doesn't dry on there just clean that off I just use a baby wipe it works and that's all we need with that okay so next we're gonna start adding to it and I have this little all of everything that I'm using here is Hobby Lobby now Okay, so I have like this little shrub. Oh, you know, there's one more thing I have to add before the shrub. So we have the shrub. This was Hobby Lobby. Get it when it's 50% off. But it has so much to it. I use it all the time. You probably see me on here all the time using it. We'll use that. But there's one more thing I forgot we're going to add on first. To the front. This is, you know, this might even be Walmart, though. We've got this little little trim we're going to line our birdhouse with that um did you have the litters on the bottom from hobby lobby and that's what that said did you the lifters on the bottom yes oops my comments went away yes these were like beads so um or by like the wood beads that you buy and then I painted them, okay? Um, they were just the plain wood. Okay, so we're gonna just add a 
that ribbon to here. Line it up. A little hard doing it upside down. <laughs> I love with that little trim. And then we're going to bring it back down this side. really hard doing it upside down. Okay, here we go. There we go. She's dulling it up so cute. Dulling it up. <laughs> I always dull things. Pull this one up a little bit here. Thanks for the hearts. Pull this up a little bit. I just want to make sure this trim hangs down. There we go. Okay, so we got that button that was gonna be my final thing Kendra that's gonna be that's gonna be my final that's my finale is the button all right so that's my finale don't let me forget it okay so now we're gonna go back to this bush so you can pick up pieces of it um, I'm gonna take this piece and we'll see if it's too big but we're gonna lay it in here. We're gonna try and tuck it a little bit behind so that we still see. We're gonna add that in there, okay? So, and I do want to, like I said, tuck it a little bit behind or pull out this trim so you don't see it. So I'm just going to add a dab of glue along here and try and fit it on. in let some of that trim hang out of course you got to be of course there's got to be a button yes 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 so I'm tucking this behind the trim because that trim is just so dang cute and I'm gonna put just a little bit of dab of glue on here just to keep it down We need a little more of this. So this big branch that I have, I said, you get it at Hobby Lobby. I don't know the name of it, um, but I mean, like I said, it's so full and you can use it um, so much. So I'm just gonna use a couple maybe I don't need anything big right now. I've got the biggest part on. I'm gonna put a little piece down from this side. I don't want to completely cover up the birds because that's an important part on here. Put that on. I think we're going to add just a little more. Just a 
couple places, I think just on some of the sides. That's one of the hearts. This reminds me of the bench you did. Yeah, Dee, this room, and actually I just sold that bench today. There's a mom out there that's gonna get it. So that makes me happy. Just add, add them in, and I'll probably put, I think I'm gonna put one more back here. Just play with it, just whatever you think is gonna look good. So, um, that's gonna cover that bird. I don't want to cover that bird up because that's part of it again. So I'm just going to cut little pieces off. Okay, we got that. Now we'll add a little bit more to it. Okay. These are Hobby Lobby. You take, and they're just so pretty. Look how pretty those are. Just really nice. So we're gonna take one of them and we're gonna take a brown one. Cute one. I don't know that I want a big brown one. We'll use a littler brown one. I'm gonna tuck that in here. Just tuck it in. And then I'm gonna tuck the brown one in there too. So again, if you like this collage paper, thank you for the hearts. If you like this collage paper, I know you can get it from the link that I posted there. That's this aviary collage paper by Tim Holtz. You, I've used it on clay pots, I've used it on wood crosses, and now I'm using it on this birdhouse. This one in here. Add a little bit of color to it. Okay, then two more things and the button. Three more things then. Okay, this is also Hobby Lobby. And I pick it apart. There's other stuff I already taken off. I like these wire tendrils. We're gonna use them. We're gonna use a couple of them. Now I'm gonna, just gonna roll them like a little twine or like a little vine. So I think just a little, and we're gonna Tuck that in here. Just again, just add a little bit of extra texture to it. I'm just gonna stick that inside of there. Just add that little, can you see that in there? And then we're gonna do one more up up out of the top here. Thank you, Terry. That is pretty so real looking. It is, I love them. I love them. I buy them too when they're on sale. I Hobby Lobby, I don't buy hardly anything that's full price. Thanks, Catherine. All right, so this one I just wrapped up all so. Again, it's just wire that you're cutting off of there. And I'm gonna tuck this one in up here. There. Just 
just want to tuck it, make sure it's tucked behind something so that it's going to stick to something. I don't know that, can you even see them on here? It's really hard for you to see them. All right, I just wanna make sure this one's gonna stay. We're gonna put a little more glue down there. There we go. Now that'll stay. All right, so we added that. Okay, two more things now. Hobby Lobby also in the ribbon, so every other week, 50% off. Just gonna make, make it look like sort of, I don't know, <laughs> a little messy. So my thought is, is that we're gonna just take it and sort of twist it, and we're gonna bring it up and over and over the top, and it's just gonna add a little something again. Just another dimension to it. So I'm gonna take this and just start with a little bit of glue on the bottom. Try to make sure I don't burn myself. Okay, this I have to let set up a minute. Why are you covering all your deck? I'm not covering all of it. Not all of it. You're still gonna see that. But you know what? Everybody's taste is really different. If you wanna see all your decoupage, absolutely, that's beautiful also. So, you know, I'm just giving you different ideas. I love doing like extra dimension in my stuff, but yeah, if you wanna just do the decoupage, absolutely, that's beautiful. So I get that. Okay, so we got that. And I'm going to just sort of twist this. This is just a really different texture to this, this is. So we're gonna twist it around. And then we're going, just gonna keep twisting it. Bring it up and over. And I just wanna see how I adhered my other one. I said I did it last night, so I can cheat. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it to the back. So it just adds a little another, another dimension to it. Okay, so this is gonna cut off. Almost done. Go down there. Don't touch on it because you'll get burned. Use my wire cutter. <laughs> Almost done. One thing left. Do you know what's left? And I think. I have this button here that has the most awesome design, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see it on there. I, if I had a bigger heart, I had a little dark heart, but I think we need something a little bigger. The other option is I have this one. Okay, so I'll let you guys decide what button. This one to me seems a little bit plain, but I like the color. This one I think just, adds to it. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do this. Yeah, button. So yeah, I think we're doing this one. And then we'll do random act of kindness drawing. So stick on. Yes, creative juices. So um I'll show you all around so you can see what all the front there's a lot that is covered but you can still see you can see a little bit of a nest in here. You can see a bird. You can see a couple birds. I get that there is some stuff covered, but when you look around, you see the birdie darling, you see the bird on the side, you see the birds back here, 
you see the bird on top and you see the bird on the side so I get that this front but the front to me is like almost like this is like your showcase kind of thing that um, really sets it off from other things and you still see your birds out there if you want you could also put like some moss on the bottom glue that on you could add a little perch and perch a little bird on here if you want you can do that or perch a little bird down on the bottom so there's a lot of things you could perch a bird up here uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it but you know so I'm just giving you ideas but yeah absolutely if you don't want that collage paper covered it would be beautiful without everything on too all right so thanks everybody for coming on everything about the birdhouse thank you thank you I appreciate it I do love how it turned out have a good night